you know, I'm really not good at TikTok transitions. You know, the part where girls go like that and um, this. And um, the one that goes like, um, wait, wait, give me a sec. <laughs> Makes you think like, how do they do it in just one snap? Hmm. Anyway. I don't think people know the power that hijabis hold. No one will ever know the shape of my body. You can meet me a hundred times and you will never know. What made some random person, some fulano down the street, deserving of seeing my body? We're powerful. So if you have Allah, you have everything you desire. If you don't have... Don't compare yourself to others. You may feel like you're behind in life. In your studies, in your career, in your faith. And don't get me wrong, it sucks. But don't waste precious time and energy comparing who you are now and where you are now to people who might be on a completely different journey to you. You're not competing with anyone else. Everything is happening just as it's supposed to, so don't rush the process. Allow yourself to grow at your own pace and enjoy and learn from the journey. Okay? So tell me who is forcing me to wear this? A man that has died hundreds of years ago that I have never met in my life? A book that cannot speak, not act, can only lay there and wait until I open it, until I start to read it? Or is it myself? I'm forcing myself? Then what do you call free will? <laughs> I got three looks, and that's it. Yeah. I'm a hooker, and that's all I know how to do. I bought a jilbab today, and I'm loving it. I just got my first ever prayer dress. I'm wearing Honey Hijab's Emerald Prayer Dress. My favorite thing about it is that the arms are loose, but they don't slip. Where's my wrist? I don't know. This material, jersey. It hugs my face in a way that keeps me secure, but doesn't make me feel like I'm choking. The material is also heavy enough that I'm not insecure that it's going to flow around in the wind and like fly up. And also, I just feel really pretty. Question a lot, and I think it's time to just reply in video form. Like, I started wearing niqab when I was 14, and honestly, I wore it because I thought it was cool. Like, any teenager, I did things because it was awesome. Why do I continue to wear it? That's the real question. I honestly believe it shields me from a lot of harmful things. And I know that might sound strange for those of you who see me and think like, I must be like assaulted on a daily basis. I'm not. Um, to a lot of people, I am very undesirable, which is great. I love not having male attention. That's, for me, the best. And honestly, it is freeing not to worry about how you look. It really, truly is. I cannot express this enough to you guys. There's a lot of pressure from society to maintain a certain appearance. And I'm not under that pressure. Alhamdulillah. Hello? Hi, you're on Queen Radio. My name is Onika Tanya Mirage. How can I help you? Nikki? Onika. Onika? Yeah. I need help. I want to buy these dresses, but I don't know. Okay, so if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with mini dresses and I have been for a really long time. Okay, so I'm going to divide them into two categories. First one are long sleeved one, but have some sort of cleavage or don't. And the second category, which is my favorite, is the short or, you know, sleeveless ones. You know. In order to style both of these, you just need three essentials. And even if you have one of each, like it's enough for you to dress to style every single dress. For the ones that have some sort of cleavage, get a top that's sleeveless but have coverage over here. And basically jeans that are not that tight or that, you know, 
bag baggy so this is an example for my birthday um see how i'm wearing something that covers here i was wearing the jeans that i showed you and i paired it with the thigh highs but you didn't even without that it was still good part two coming up <laughs> When you meet someone and the butterflies that you feel when you meet them for the first time, that's not love. That's the shaitan making you feel some type of way for that person. Remember, when you move too fast, you crash. And when you meet a guy or a girl and you feel like, oh my god, this is the one you start getting butterflies, you can't be without them. It is not from Allah. It is from the shaitan who's making you, trying to make you feel like this is everything. The shaitan wants you to go that way. To ruin your iman, to cause you depression, to cause you anxiety. I have never seen a relationship that moves fast and lasts. I have never seen that. Of course, with the blessings of Allah, there's a lot of relationships that are successful the same way. But I'm saying the ones that give you butterflies and they also give you depression at the same time. Anxiety, you can't live without this person. All of these things, they come from the shaitan. So you have to, have to be careful and allow yourself to be protected. Mm -hmm.